breakfast on BBC Two? And there it is, the final whistle, and they're out. It's all over. Oh, it's a sad moment, this. Who would want to be a football manager? Oh, not the bridge over. Hey, cut. Hey, cut. <laughs> oh, I'll bring that up. Hello and welcome to Fantasy Football League. This week our guest managers are Eddie Large, Andrew Ridgely and Basil Brush. We'll be recreating the most dramatic FA Cup final finish of all time. And we'll be saying a big hello to Bobby Tambling. Hello, I'm Bobby Tambling. Hello! Oh, Bobby Tambling. Chelsea's greatest ever goal scorer. The symbol of the golden age. The golden age that might just be coming back. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mr. Tambling Man, when you played for Chelsea, they were such a glory team. They had players made of dreams. So I supported them, and they turned to cack. <laughs> The team I went to watch was not packed with glorious names. Steve Finiston, Trevor Aylott, and Brian Basin. I don't even know who that is, nor him, nor him, nor him. No idea, such me, don't know who that is. Oh, I think that's Mickey Droy. And he was hardly Pele now, was he? <laughs> Things I've had to put up with are just unspeakable. In 1977, Graham Wilkins was third highest scorer with eight own goals. And then last Saturday, Gavin Peacock scored two goals. Goals that were gold in my soul. Are we finally out of the hole? I've even begun to like Tony Cascarino. <laughs> so, hey, Mr. Tambling Man, be there at Wembley. On that FA Cup final morning, we'll sing the colour is blue. Mr. Tambling Man, Mr. Tambling Man. I haven't got any cup final tickets yet. <laughs> Mr. Tambling Man. That was a sneaky appeal for cup final <laughs> tickets, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I haven't had sex for six weeks, if anyone. <laughs> I'm, I'm not paying a tout 200 quid again. <laughs> what about Stan Flashman? <laughs> But first, a few things we noticed from watching football this week. We were all very pleased to see Eric Cantona getting the PFA Player of the Year award. This will go nicely with a whole host of awards he won while playing in France. There was the Most Accurate Throw Award. <laughs> which he won in conjunction with the Leaving the Pitch in the Biggest Hoff trophy. <laughs> Not content with all those, he went on to win the award for the most accurate throw by a player who hasn't got the ball. <laughs> And then he won the prize for the highest tackle of the season. <laughs> and lastly, the French Football Supporters Association gave him a special award for incident that gave fans most opportunity to go... Ah! Hello, oh, Stato. You got any Cantona statistics for us? Well, you not Cantona, but all the people, all the fans that have watched him for the clubs in France and England love him, and he's got a tremendous strike rate for 
all the clubs he's played for. And he's a winner. He's won the French Championship with Marseille. He's won the English Championship with Leeds. He's won the English Championship with Manchester United. <laughs> he's scored 19 times in 37 times for the yeah, French National Time. Yeah, he's okay, a winner. He's the okay, fan's okay, player. Start, OK, I'll give you hiccups. I shouldn't do that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Look, get, get on with it. Why don't you introduce your news round, then, in a sort of a Cantonar-esque, flamboyant, continental way? All right, if that's what you want. Now it's time for my news round. Ha hee ha. <laughs> Bonjour and bienvenue to my news round. <laughs> the way the BBC de Fantasy League is mirroring the Premiership de Calling is bordering on the Historique. After being hounded by David and Karen for several weeks, long-time leader Basil Brush has been caught. It's a two-point lead sur le mont for mon grand ami David. In a quiet week, two clean sheets accounted for most of his points. Basil is still there, though. He conceded one goal by West Ham's Miklosko, but his football connaissance and je ne sais quoi have done him no harm. A clean sheet from Berg to Blackburn helped keep him in contention. Quel dommage, but no luck for this week's guest, Monsieur Eddie Legrand. His joie de vivre, severely tested by Brian Gunn, and the five goals conceded contra Alain Ballon's Southampton. In the same game, Le Tizier, avec three goals and an assist, helped our manager of the week, Sue Johnson, to 16 points. But bonjour, tristesse, and déjà vu for our other guest, Andrew Ridgely. Another minus week, despite yet another goal from Alan Shearer. So as we approach the final run-in, it looks like au revoir to André et Pierre. Fantastic stuff. Now, there's been a lot of speculation about the new manager at the Golders Greenbacks. All sorts of celebrity football fans have been mentioned. Rod Stewart, Elton John, John Major. But no, we aimed a little bit higher than that. Have we got somebody? Oh, we've got somebody, all right. We've got somebody who's going to put this show back where it belongs. After the golf. <laughs> it's someone really good, isn't it? Mm. You've done this, haven't you? You've gone out and you've scoured the nation. I love you for that. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, just brace yourselves, right? Because here we have the new manager of the Golders Greenbacks. Where? <laughs> no, that... No, no, what's... Well, you know, we don't let him on the settee. What's going on? Special occasion, right? This is the new manager of the gold... <laughs> <laughs> and he left the door on the latch. Did he? Yeah. Oh, there's no... That's unforgivable. This is the new manager of the gold as Greenback. Oh, can hi, we... hi. <sighs> yes, couldn't we get anyone? Giles Brandreth. No. <laughs> Wolf from Gladiators. <laughs> we couldn't even get Wilf from Gladiators. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, then. Stato. Great to see oh, you hey, again. Stato, hey, Stato, looking Stato, good. Yeah. Let's have a look at your team. I there see, you go. I see you've changed the name. No, I haven't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, he has. He has changed the name. Wait, when did I do that? Never mind when. You've changed the name, right? Anyway, what, what are your plans for the team? Well, I think it might be worth getting rid of uh, Mark Bright and getting... Right, then, you're sacked. Eh? Uh, have, you, have you sacked him? Yeah. Cotton thrust and management, eh? <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. So let's see what's on the telly, shall we? Does that, does that mean I'm not a manager anymore? No, you've been sacked, mate. Go on, start up. Bit sad, eh? Yeah. Never liked him much, anyway. <laughs> Come to the game this Saturday. It'll be a great game. A game to tell your children about. Don't miss the game. What a marvellous advert for the game. Yeah, it wasn't it? Show me the way to the complex department, please. Oh, no, it's that really long uh, Julie Walters advert for the BBC, you know, the, the one we are not in. Oh, dear, that is a shame. Yeah, we're going to miss it now. And Robert Hardy hadn't appeared in period costume yet. Yeah, I love that mind. bit. It'll be on six or seven times in the next hour. What do you mean, without us? Yeah, they'll probably put Fred Housego in it well, then as well. Bloody good driver, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness! Oh, oh. It's Eddie Lodge and Andrew Ridgely! Andrew Ridgely and Eddie Lodge, Andrew Ridgely and Eddie Lodge and... and Eddie Lodge, Andrew Ridgely and Eddie Lodge 
Oh, what a joy! We got the Sky Electrics in for you, Andrew. Because uh, you like it. Looks looks much like I left my uh, last car that I raced. What with those huge cat? Cat? <laughs> 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 you didn't you say that like you played that? Oh, oh, well. nearly, nearly killed. Yeah. God, science fiction. Ridgeline falling cat scandal. You must have read that. No, no, no I didn't. <laughs> Well, your teams are both doing all right, really, at the moment. I no, mean, they're doing yeah, terrible. It's <laughs> no, I meant the, the football me, teams they David. support. Oh, those teams? You mean Arsenal and Man City? <laughs> those are the teams I meant, yeah. Oh, yeah, Man City. Sensational, eh? <laughs> well, Three wins on the were. trot. It's a record breaker. Well, it looks like they're going to escape, do they? Escape what? <laughs> <laughs> well, I meant relegation. Yeah, right? of course, they'll escape. They'll win again tomorrow. Sunday, isn't it? Who have <laughs> they, they got? Norwich. Because my great Brian Gunn plays for Norwich, so mixed feelings on Saturday. And Arsenal are absolutely on the crest of a wife for that win Brian on Wednesday. Wednesday. <coughs> You're going to go to right Copenhagen the for the final? Um, I don't believe I am, no. I think uh, I'm in France at, uh, on, that, on that particular date. God, so. you're a bit of a jet setter, Andrew, I've got to say. <laughs> you just come back from holiday? I have, yes. Where, yeah. where were you? We went to the Gambia. Right. My wife's choice, not mine. Right. <laughs> so we won't be going back. Oh, really? Or have you split up? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's at, the right, of the, yeah. at the request of the Gambians. Yeah. <laughs> so, what's it, is it? You didn't have a good time. She sounds like a fantastic place. She had a wonderful time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, what are you doing? Because you, you're all over the place, Andrew. The last time. Well, that's what his wife thinks. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the people at the racing track. <laughs> no, yeah, you, were, you just jet set all the time. Where, where were you before that? Um, Kentish Town. Right, blimey. Particularly Jet Set. What, the wife like that? <laughs> she loved it, too, yeah. Because I read this in the paper that you, you're a bit of a surfing fanatic. Is that true or is it, is it paper talk? No, 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 I do surf. Yeah. Not Not which Kentish paper Town. are you reading? The surfing Not town. Not in Kentish Town. <laughs> 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 the Kentish Town surfer, it's called. <laughs> Uh, so what we wanted to talk about uh, was this New England thing that they're doing whereby they, they can't play the game in Germany. So instead, they're going to have a kick. I, I don't understand. These can't play the game in Germany because it's Hitler's birthday. Because the next game, I think when they play Greece, I think, is on uh, Charles Aznavour's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> well, they should have thought about that. Nobody's complained about loads of Charles Aznavour fans turning up, you know, and crooning the chants or anything really? like that. <laughs> <laughs> but so, that, do you think this kick about? I mean, that's what they're going to do. The England players are just going to play each other. Is that right? Well, it'll be another game without a defeat, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But who, who are your favourite England players? Who's your favourite England player, Andrew? Um, at the moment, uh, it's my boy Shearer um, and, and Platt. Mm. Um, I think they're, they're very solid lads. Yes, yes. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Good <Yeah>? surfers. <laughs> <laughs> Platt's become all sort of Italian, hasn't he, just slightly? He's started doing all these, these big gestures and stuff. Have you noticed? He's throwing himself on the floor and doing this to the referee. I've noticed. Yes. And I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what I really love. What? Right? It's that bit in Making Your Mind Up by Box Fizz when they rip the women's skirts off. That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> what? Does that have to do with David Platt? Well... <laughs> see, <laughs> see, they all thought I was just being laddish and horrible, but uh, oh, but that would be another five minutes, I should think. Did David Platt go on to present record breakers as well? No, that was Cheryl Baker. Ah, oh, it's an easy mistake to make. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, he's captain now, isn't he? Mm. Is he captain now? Last time he was. Yeah, would he be your yeah. choice for captain, Eddie? Um, my favourite, I think, is Peter Beardsley, actually, you know, I mean, I love him. I mm. can't remember President David <laughs> Platt. <laughs> <laughs> Have <laughs> 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 you not seen me play like him, have you? <laughs> no, but I'll, I'll, I think Peter Bla Peter, <laughs> Peter Beardsley, I think he's fabulous, I really do. Yeah, I think, I think the reason that Platt is captain is because he's, sort of he's sort of a prefect figure, he's sort of clean, living, wholesome, articulate sort of player. A bit like Ray Wilkins. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Fucking ball! <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's interesting that because a lot of people I remember like, when he was in Chelsea didn't think Ray Wilkins was a very hard player, but the ball boy at that match was actually Ronnie Cray. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you've been tangled. Eh? Anyway, let's, let's have a look at Eddie's team because we're all dying to see what's oh, gone horribly that, wrong. Eh? There they are. Yeah. And you've changed, you've changed the name because you were Swales Out City. Yeah, monster. and it worked. So, you got rid uh, of him. He, where, where he is now, I don't know, but uh, we don't care, do we? Franny's in, obviously. So I know it's Franny's in City. 
Franny's in, yeah. yeah. We've got actually a brilliant goal here from Francis Lee, and I love Barry Davis's commentary on this one. 